Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite mommy here, Mama Vanna. And today I'm going to be telling you guys a story time about the time that I found out that the man I had been seeing was getting married. So, if you're interested in this video, stay tuned. So, I'm going to name him Julius for the sake of this video and privacy. Um, I met Julius earlier in the year at a club in Dallas. Um, this club, you don't meet caliber men. You don't, like... It's just, it's a no-go. Like, you don't expect to find love or anything like that at this particular club. Um, met him, we exchanged Snapchat numbers. I'm running through how we met really fast just to give context um, and then get into how I found out. Uh, met him, exchanged Snapchats, didn't exchange numbers, which I thought was weird. Found out he lived in a different state, which was fine or whatever. We were only Snapchat friends um, and then in August, I saw on Snap that he was back in Dallas again. And I hit him up and I was like, hey, um, do you want to grab lunch or whatever? And he had informed me that he actually moved to Dallas. And I was like, oh, wow, okay, bet. Let's, let's link up sometime and grab drinks or whatever. Um, so that next weekend, we went out to eat, grabbed a few drinks, and we just had a really cool, chill time. Um, from that point on, we started to hang out more. We were doing more things together, meeting friends, flag football games, going to the Drake concert together, going to the state fair together. Um, talking all day, texting all day, a kiki with one another's co-workers. Um, so it was not like a secret thing. It was just, it, all of it, like now that I'm telling the story, it's just weird. Like all of it is just weird and just, anyways. Um, so I, in the past, have always done research on anyone that I'm like going out with, especially in living in such a crazy world these days. Like I know I'd be able to find your Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of that in a matter of a day, maybe even less than a day. I'm really good at that kind of stuff. Um, but this time around, I was like, he's just so honest and he's very real, like we connect. Like I didn't get any bad vibes from him to the point that I felt like I needed to go out of my way to do research on him. Especially like knowing that in the past, past relationships and things that I've had, when I've done research, I found bad things. And uh, I really do now believe that like, if you go looking for dirt, you're gonna find it. So I was like, I want to do something different. I want to steer away from it. Uh, so I did. And uh, just fast forwarding to the day that I found out, it was Halloween, actually. Um, and he, like I said, we didn't follow each other on anything except Snapchat. But he shared a tweet with me, and I thought it was super funny. So I went to go retweet the tweet, and I noticed that he replied to it. And I like literally was like, God just like dropped this down in my lap. I didn't go searching for it. I didn't go looking for it. Anything like that. Like you, he sent it to me, both Julius and God both were like, Hey, let's like, <laughs> let's uh, send Savannah your profile so she can find this information out. Like it, I feel like it was a way of God looking out for me. So I, uh, naturally of course found uh clicked on it i should say clicked on his profile and i didn't care about what he was tweeting i wanted to see his media so i went to his images or his media where all the pictures and stuff are and the very first picture or the most recent picture that he had posted was of him at a festival that had happened the weekend before um in dallas and i saw the picture and i was just like oh my god this man looks so good. Like, my goodness, he looked fine. Like, F-O-I-N-E, fine, right? And so I went to see who was liking his picture because, you know, you're involved with someone, you're still, you're, you're kind of territorial, but you can't show it. So, like, in my mind, I'm like, who is liking my man's picture? Let me go see who's liking my man's picture. So I click on 
the likes and it's like five or six girls that have liked this picture but one stood out to me because in her bio it said that she was from the same state that he was and also had one of the schools that he was from so I was like hmm, let me boop, nosy rosy let me go click on it right so I clicked on her profile and the very first or the most recent tweet that I saw was she had said I hope Julius knows he's going to buy me the car that I want hashtag happy wife happy life and then that first stage of denial had set in I was like oh psh, this is just a coincidence like how many Juliuses are there in the world yes he had a very common name I was like there are a ton of Juliuses in the world whatever like keep scrolling <laughs> bitch keep scrolling right so I am in like crazy like Oh my god oh my god this isn't happening mode eye twitching like starting to sweat under my armpits because i know i'm about to find something even though i'm like mentally prepared to be like oh you're not gonna find anything i know that i'm about to get some bad news so i scroll to the next tweet and the next tweet says i can't wait to marry my king in six weeks six weeks Six weeks, y'all. Six weeks! <laughs> Ooh, then I had a king emoji, a queen emoji, and a ring emoji. And at that point, I needed literal visual proof. So I went to her media, and y'all, her media had everything that I needed to know. Pictures of them together, um, pictures of her and him coupled up, doing things. Like, it went back some years, okay? Yes, I had time. I had time because my feelings and my heart and my everything were involved. So I made some time for it, okay? Um, and I had everything I needed to know. I, had, I, I knew at that very moment I was never going to talk to him again. So I went to my snap. And I instantly started before, I, let me, let me, let me go back a little bit before I, I started to blame myself because I didn't do the research that I normally do. This is something that could have been easily found out if I had done the proper research, but because I was so blinded by how he made me feel and how much we vibed and how much we connected and he was saying all the right things and they made sense and we was just we was really just big kicking it um and it just felt right I didn't do the necessary research that I normally do I went to my snap I posted a meme of a girl getting her face painted like a clown and I said I can't blame anybody but myself he responded to it and I uh, was like, why do you still have this in your camera roll? And that ticked me off, y'all. I don't know why it ticked me off, but it did. So I, I let him have it right then and there on Snap. I said, because when people do clown shit to you and you feel like a clown, like the man that you've been involved with is getting married in six weeks, that's why I posted it. He instantly hit me back like that and said, uh, he said, you don't know what you're talking. You really don't know what you're talking about. Just hit me up when you're free. I wasn't planning on hitting him up. I Hours later, I call my really good guy friend and I called him because I know that no matter what, he is always going to keep a buck with me. He's always going to give me the straight, no chaser type of answer. Um, and that's, those are the type of people that I like. Tell me how it is. Tell me like why. Um, and so I hit him up and I told him what had transpired and he was like, yo, like that, that's some wild stuff. Like it is genuinely wild. He said, I don't see a scenario where he can get out of this. You can't get out of that. You can't, you cannot get yourself out of that. He said, I'd be interested to know what his excuse is. And that got me thinking like, you know what? I want to know what his excuse is. So I hit him up. I was like, yo, I'm free. He calls me and he's like, hey, how are you? Mm -mm. No, are you getting married? Straight, no chaser. I don't I'm, I don't have time for none of that fake, phony, fugazi stuff. How are you doing? The sun is shining, the birds are chirping. No, dude, 
<laughs> birds are not chirping, it is cloudy, it's raining, it's lightning, and you better have a good excuse because I'm about five seconds from running you over with my car, okay? So, I, um, I asked him, are you getting married? He said no. I asked him multiple times, he said no. So finally, I'm getting irritated, I'm getting frustrated, and I'm sweating under my armpits. And I don't like to sweat under my armpits, okay? So I finally was like, do you wanna know why I keep asking you if you're getting married? He was like, yes. So I walked him through the steps, just like I did with you guys. Y'all, you could have heard a pin drop through the phone. He was so silent. Um, so I said again, are you getting married? And he said, I mean, I have a little situation back home. And then came all of the, you know, I really do like you and I wanted to try and build something with you. I just didn't expect things to get this far and this fast and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, are you crazy? You're, you're a psychopath. How can you be even in a situation with someone else and still trying to pursue something with someone. So finally, I had had it. I said, you know what, I don't even care no more. I said, wish you the best of luck. And he finally was like, yes, I'm getting married. Cool, I appreciate your honesty, click. Done. I, the moment that you lied to me, any positive thoughts or feelings or emotions that I have for you, they went out the window immediately I can you lie to me I can cut you off like that it's it's absolutely nothing to me um, so he hit me up again literally like 15 minutes later checking on me hey I just wanted to make sure you were okay no baby I'm good trust and believe that I'm good I'm always gonna be good but you you might want to get some things you might need to have a little sit down talk with yourself I had a lot of questions brewing, a lot that I know I was never gonna get an answer from, an answer for. Um, but one thing that I just, I, I do not like about myself is no matter how much someone hurts me or does me dirty, I still want them to realize what they did for themselves. So essentially helping them, if that makes sense. So I asked him, I said, why would you get married if you can't even be Faithful. Y'all, I kid you not, this was his answer word for word. I be trying, but it's hard. I be trying, but it's hard. Whew, got it. You know what? <laughs> So after that, I had I didn't talk to him for about four to five days, and it was literally eating at my heart. Not me personally and how I felt and anything like that, and definitely not him, but for her. I was going back and forth for days. Do I tell her? Do I stay out of it? Like, do I insert myself in a situation I'm trying to get out of? I just, it hurt me to know that even though I did not know, I was a part of hurting another woman and a black woman at that. I was going to be an accessory to pain that she was going to experience, if not now, later. Because I fully believe in karma and that what's done in the dark is always going to come to light and karma is a and he was gonna get his. It didn't matter. And the crazy thing about karma is even though it's directed at one person, it's meant for one person, someone else is gonna get hurt in the process. So karma may aim itself at you, but it's gonna ricochet and hit someone else. It's gonna hurt another loved one or or a business partner or or your children or whoever it is. Karma is always going to indirectly hurt somebody else trying to get you and I didn't want to be that I didn't want any part of of hurting another black woman or hurting a woman period because as black women we already go through so much and deal with so much hurt that love should not be one of those hurts and I'm tired genuinely tired 
of black women being torn down first and then glorified later. I've been in situations, I know what it feels like to be cheated on and to love someone so much and think everything is all hunky-dory fine and everything is good and then you find out the person that you love and somebody that you were committed to wasn't committed to you the way that you were to them. It hurts. And I played a role in that. I, um, I sent him a message, a long one, basically stating what I just said to you guys. Um, and I told him, I said, you can tell her or I can tell her. But if I tell her, I'm coming with all the receipts, all the receipts. You tell her, you can tell her whatever version of the truth you feel like you need to tell her, but what she will know is that you were a willing participant in this situation. You willingly hurt and disrespected her. And now that she has this information, she can make the right decision for her with all of the facts. Because that's the crazy thing about lying is that when you lie, you hide from people. You're hiding something from someone. And she, not knowing this, is not able to make a conscious, truthful, actual, factual decision on what she wants to do. You have manipulated by lying and hiding things from her to benefit you. Because if she doesn't know that you've cheated on her, if she doesn't know that you were trying to have this whole other situation, she's gonna marry you and she's gonna be so in love with you and, and, and she's gonna have this perspective and this, uh, this, this, this idea of you that's not real. But if she has all of the facts and all of that, she can decide whether she wants to keep seeing you as the man that she thought that you were or see you for the man that you are now. She can make that decision on her own. I laid it out for her. And he told her, um, he told her. I'm not gonna go into detail on how I know that he told her, but he told her. He did. Um, so yeah. That is the story on how I found out the man that I had been involved with was getting married. Um, sucks. Yeah, I don't know if they're still getting married. I don't know anything. Like I said, I blocked him on everything. Phone, Instagram, Twitter, Snap, Facebook. Um, the only way he would ever be able to see anything about me is if he went and made a new profile to see it. I blocked her too, just in the event that anything ever were to transpire. Um, yeah, I just wanna keep it all positive energy and vibes and, and, and things like that. So I did what I felt I needed to do to protect my peace, okay? So, yeah. If you like this story, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more story times from me, go ahead and uh, comment down below because trust me, I do have more story times. No, not more married story times because I ain't that kind of chick. But I do have a lot of stories to tell that you guys just would not believe. Um, so yeah, if you want to see more story times, like I said, comment down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and even ring the little bell so that whenever I do post videos, you guys will get them. Um, can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye. Stay black and protect your magic.